Hello and welcome to Hobbs and Friends. Today we are in uh, Sanctum Somnium and uh, we are going to be doing the quest lines. There's three quests. Morel Sanctuary, Dreamland Assault, and the Key to the Tower. Now these all start here with this guy right here, Sage Jarth on Alakazam. They're called uh, Jarth 1, 2, and 3. And on EQ Resource, they are the full names. I'll have those linked in the description if you want a written version of whatever's going on here. But uh, yeah, so uh, I am currently right in the dead center of the zone. So you zone in from uh, like right up there. It's not safe. <laughs> so uh, definitely keep that in mind. Now, it's not safe right here either, I don't believe. But I wanted all my characters here so I could uh, do a campfire. So I can come back to this. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this and see what uh, what happens. Morel has trapped us here, but I believe there is a way out. I have a plan. If it's going to work, though, I need your help as, as, as well as any other captives in this bizarre dream world. What is your plan? First, we need to search this tower and make contact with the rest of the people trapped here. Next, we'll need your help. Gathering components for a device that can dispel some of Morel's magic and hopefully weaken him. Finally, we'll use the device near that locking lock tower. That seemed so important. I have a feeling that's where Morel is hiding. All right. Uh, where do we search? So that gives us the first quest, Morel's uh, sanctuary. <laughs> and then, uh, good. You like to get started. I'll do what I can from here and prepare the spells needed. You'll find other trapped individuals. You can and tell me, uh, find out about the rest of this horde place. And then device, uh, we, you know, it tells us we have to go back and do this one first. So we can't do them at the same time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my guys out of here so they don't die. <laughs> just, just to work that out and they'll... They'll be back in my guild all. If I need them, I can get them all back here via the campfire. All right, so first things first, uh, we need to search the entrance hall balconies. We need to search the filthy rundown village, search the halls filled with treasure, search the path to Morel's tower, search the western underground maze-like dungeon, exquisite castle, and defeat the tower wardens. All right, a lot of work to do. Uh, so this is more or less just like running around. So if we con these things, they, oh, that's a rare, that's a, that's a rare mob. So we're going to go ahead and kill him. Oh, he's got like some of those polyutorium kind of things. Ooh, this guy's hitting kind of hard. Now this is like the final zone of House of Thule. So uh, I would expect things to be a little bit more difficult than what we've faced so far. Now we'll go ahead and roll that out. And, uh. There we go. Now, hopefully nothing sees in biz. You can see here that I'm, you know, with my normal buffs that I normally have, it is not, I'm not just like walking through this, these guys like normal. So definitely slightly harder content. All right, Cloaks of Shadow, uh, those are indifferent. So let's start looking around, see if we can start figuring out where we need to go. There's the raid mob. Uh, now we need to find Cigar the cigar where are you at here there he is right over there all right let's talk to him ah uh, i'm glad to see a friendly face i'm about to drop dead from fright i can't seem to find my way out of here and none of my tools or keys can help I, if i can't find a proper passage so say you are with those magical user types that can help us get out of here by all means then let me know if i can help all right, so I'm assuming that, <laughs> that updated that. Now we need to go find more people. What do we got over here? We got the mission and the a quest guy here. All right, he is for another partisan quest. We'll come back to him. Uh, later, uh, let's see here. Where are we actually at on this map? South. So, yeah, this is. 
There we go. Fine Denon Mora right here, this guy. Hail him. I know it shouldn't have been meddled in, meddled in necromancy. This plane is my punishment, I fear. They'll make me suffer before I die. What? You think you can get us out of here? I'd be forever grateful. All right, so he is taken care of. Let's go back down here. And uh, let's go this way. So which way are we going now? We're going into this tower. So over here, there should be some tower guards. Oh, there we go. Find uh, this guy right here, Court Landerson. Uh, let's hail him. This is unacceptable. I've never dealt with such irrational fools. Surely we are in a bad situation, but there's no excuse to panic. The blood in my veins is noble. Not that one a frantic, a frantic commoner. Ah, I see you think you know a way out. Well, if you find one, inform me. If I can help in any way, do not hesitate to ask. Good teamwork is important after all. All right, now... I guess we're done with this side. Maybe this side. No, it's, just, it's just a lot of running around in this initial part of the quest, right? Uh, let's see, here we got Tower Servant. Sergeant Gomar. Oh, this is these are the mercenary class, so let's go and hail him real quick. Can no longer take this. Something. Kill this guy. I'm going to grab the mercenary class just so that we have them. Uh, queuing up and getting done because otherwise we will have to spend a lot of time here. I don't usually do them on video, so I'm not going to read out the text on these. But it is, you can see here kill goblins, kill occultists, kill ritualists, kill kobolds, and kill beggars, right? <laughs> this is like literally basically all it says to do anyway. So there's not much to it other than that. So that's kind of why I stopped doing the mercenary quests. All right, what is this? This is. All right. Oh, we need to talk to this guy anyway, so let's tail him. Oh, hold on, we got a leprechaun. Just wants the tango. And he said, some dark magic is at work here. I tell you, this gold isn't real. Never seen anything like this, anything like this in my life. I'll tell you that. And I've seen a lot. I may be rough, but I'm tough in business. I'm a merchant, not a fighter, so... You if you'd be kind, I'd appreciate a hand here. If you think you found a way out, just let me know anything anything I can do. All right, so we got that done. Now that's this section right here. So where is this rundown village? Okay, that goes to the farm. I guess the giant fort. All right, let's go back this way. Sure. <laughs> in here. Tower Warden Sergeant. Defeat Tower Warden to guard the way. All right, maybe these are one of the guys we got to kill for that part. Looks like we've already killed one of them, so this might be number two. Luckily, and we're uh, very close to the level 101, so that'll be nice. Uh, very nice indeed. Go ahead and snare this guy. There we go. That was the guy we needed, so there's just random guards that are around here, so it's pretty easy. All right. Rundown village and underground dungeon. So I think this quest is like really just like telling us, you know. Oh, there it is, right? Rundown Village. So, I'm guessing it was actually through here, but through this door and through this hall. There we go. <laughs> I can safely say I've been to this zone before, but I've never been here. Uh, so that is nice, kind of cool. All right, what are we looking for here? We're finding, looking for Ferrith. Ferrith is probably this guy right here, huh? Yep, there he is. Let's hail him. As my is if my, as if my life wasn't bad enough, I tell you, I found some place nice to go and sleep. Woke up in this place. 
You're trying to get me out of here. If you find a way, please let me know. I can't take this anymore. All right, so now we need to go to the Western Underground Dungeon, which uh, looks like this is literally just back the way we came uh, through there. So that's kind of cool. And then what is out here? Like, so we got like mad beggars, stuff like that. So we got to kill five beggars for the mercenary. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and wink these out real quick. You know, I mean, look how fast we're killing these. go and done all right pot of gold all right so that is something for later and these are actually pre-lootable so let's go ahead and loot that for now uh <laughs> When we get to that quest, it's the next, it's the, it's the, it's another partisan. We have to literally go there. So we're going to save the rest of those, uh, those kills for that. All right. Uh, let's see here. We go up this tower and through here. All right. This is creepy. And we got some guys. All right. So let's take, so we got this kind of like, uh, map. It's like a prison almost. So explore the Western undergraze underground maze like dungeon. So I guess I have to fall down one of these traps. Maybe to get down there. Dream ghost essence. Uh, I don't know what that's for. So we're going to leave that for now. <laughs> like the things that are pre-lootable and not pre-lootable are so annoying. Uh, it is, in fact, so annoying that we have to uh, deal with that. All right, so there we go. Here is a. All right, dark, dark cultist. There's a named NPC right there. Western underground maze entrance. So we need to go that way. I suppose. It's invis up. All right. Oh, okay. These these things uh see invis, I suppose. It's got like, like weapons in his hands or something. I don't know what's going on there. Looks cool. I guess they're not undead because they're running. Oh my gosh, three what? Three elegant knuckle guards on one mom like this. I don't know. I maybe I'm bugged or something because I'm getting like double loot on a lot of characters and it's really weird because there's no event going on right now. He's indifferent, so we'll go through here. Through here and then never mind. These are undead. It's a mixed environment down here. Come on. I thought this would be a little bit quicker. I feel like I'm not making time here. But oh, we'll be fine. Alright. This door. I forgot to invis. Let's leave all those for now. Maybe we'll need them later on for something else. Come on. Man, am I missing like a buff or something? We do Dark Lord's Unity here. Maybe I'm missing one of these. Yeah, I was missing. <laughs> I was missing a lot of those. I guess I didn't do it this morning or earlier. Uh, yeah, the Dark Beast can see Invis, so. 
That's just what we're gonna have to deal with right now. All right. So I've uh, I've mapped out the entirety of Empires of Kunark, Ring of Scale, the Burning Lands, and we're gonna do No Memorial Mountain as its own thing right after the Burning Lands because uh, the Burning Lands came out beforehand, and uh, so I think that's just it just makes sense to not skip ahead on that. And then uh, once we're done with that, we're gonna go straight into TOV, uh, COV and uh tower of luckland and so on and so on uh, i got them all i got them all mapped out <laughs> surprising like the amount of time that it's i've been in house of thule right is nowhere near the amount of time it is going to take uh to do at least two or three of those expansions because they have like 20 to 30 you know different partisan mission kind of things um each with uh, the Burning Lands actually being one of the longer ones uh, out of the next few sets, so that'll be fun. And I've, I've just recently done the Burning Lands uh, to get the Jans of L for my Paladin, so I've got a I've got a nice gist of like what needs to to go on. Like it would have been, trust me, it would have been very painful to watch me. Uh, try to figure that out before but it I think I have an idea so we need to talk to Mara O'Rain which is down no down okay yeah down 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 all right perfect so down cold skirmisher and then No, that's not right. Somehow we messed that up. So we I got all that ready uh and planned. So I if if I finish these last two or three quests here in uh House of Thule, I will be have the first episode on December second or third, whatever the Monday is for uh Empires of Kunark, and then, and then that's it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do one a day. Uh, originally, I was planning on uh, some other stuff happening at the same time. Uh, Outer Brood is gonna be happening at the same time, along with that. So uh, we're gonna slow roll Empires of Kunark one a day with uh, the Outer Brood uh, from Holder Just Crusade in the afternoon. And then, uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty well. All right, we're killing way more mobs than I was expecting to kill just to get to this mob, but uh, it's fine. What are we at here? 96, we're, <laughs> we're definitely gonna hit 101 probably today. All right, and then there is Mara O'Rain. Hail. I'm a big old fan of fighting, but even getting uh, a bit tired here. I can't seem to find a way out of these creepy tunnels. And you say you've got, you can get us out of here. I'm at your service then. Just let me know when you need a hand. I want to go back home. All right, we need to return back to our friend. So we're going to campfire back to him. Which is right there. Let's go ahead and hail him. And then we get 0.3% uh, experience, 158 platinum. 20 dream boats and uh, some faction. There we go. And we can hail him again. We read the, uh, we read all this already. So device. Yes, let's get started on that. I'll need a number of components from around the dream world. Bring them to me as you find them. So he needs tools from the locksmith, essence from the phantoms, uh, bags of gold, deliver them there and Magical components from Denon and necessary potions from Roman. So definitely like it would have been more convenient if they could have double stacked these quests. Uh, but yeah, so let's go back up. I think it was up here. No, it's not up here. I guess it's on the other side over here. 
blacksmith should be right over here. Sail him. So you need some tools. Here you go. I don't know how to tell. I don't know. Now, why don't you tell that sage that I'll give him a shirt off my back if he gets us out of this bad dream? All right, we got the tools. Now we need ghostly essence. And that's... Uh, the dream ghost essence. That might help us from avoiding going back there. Let me try that. Let's hand that to him. Along with that. There we go. That worked perfect. Uh, now we need bags of gold. So let's go do that. So that's going to be... Gonna be this way. Wait. What? Is that a, is that the named again? Oh, all right. We're gonna do visage. Let's go ahead and do mantle, just so I don't dive to these. There we go. Perfect. And that is the rare. Let's pay attention. All right. So bags of gold. I think that's going to be from the dwarf personally, but we'll see. And does it give me any hits on the other ones? No. Luckily we killed those ghosts, so we didn't have to worry about that. All right. Looks like we got hard weapon. It's, it's actually a pretty good bard weapon. I think my bard actually has this on or had it on at level 90. Uh, the spell ward saber is pretty, pretty good. I think we're going this way. Yeah, this way. Go through here. Just gonna give him this, this bag of gold. There we go. He gave us potions. <laughs> All right. Max gold. Where do we get these at? All right. The ground spawns in this general area. I guess the leprechauns can see invisible. Uh, that's nice to know. So I don't know what we're clicking on here. I don't feel like there's anything there. There we go. That's what they are. They are literal bags of gold on the ground, so we don't have to click for random things. All right, we got uh, we got a little army on us here. Uh, are leprechauns on my kill list? No, but goblins are, so that's nice. All right, we're gonna do vampiric aura just to get us a little extra healing out of this. Maybe we'll pro. Oh yeah, we propped mortal coil. <laughs> these things, these things are good. All right. Once you once you prog mortal coil, like things, it just becomes trivial. Uh, I'm hoping to work on my epic in uh, December. I have all the parts. I just need to go do it. So hopefully I can get that done. And that's another one of the reasons why I was slow rolling empires of Kunark and uh, everything else. Because there's a lot of things I want to do that I've been kind of holding off on doing. Because they just take a lot of time. I saw a bag. It must have been the other way. Go. Okay, what is that? That is two bags. Where's that other item? That thing. Go. 
go. I don't see any more casually laying around here. At least we're going to finish this goblin kills one, right? That's not that bad. Come on. So I guess there is a little bit more killing in this side than I anticipated. I didn't realize these were going to see invis. So that's not, that's not too bad though. I mean, if I couldn't solo them, that'd be different. Watching, uh, watching the TV show Slow Slow Horses, and I must say this is one of my favorite shows. <laughs> it's like a uh, British spy show. It's good. pretty good, pretty good indeed. Go. Let's go. There's one right there. That's four. We need five bags of gold, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, five bags of gold. And we need to talk to Denon. I don't remember who Denon was. There's another one right here. Really? All right. Let me... All right. We'll just kill these because we're getting tough. We're getting warped around and it's getting like, I don't know. I hate summoning so much. It's just like, why? Why did he summon me? Why doesn't he move two feet closer to me? Like, it's just dumb. It's it's the dumbest mechanic in the game that I know of. And uh, I'm hoping they remove it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna complain about it in every video until they remove it. <laughs> There we go, we finished uh, the goblin kills there. And 101. So let's take a moment and see if we got anything new. Looks like we got a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's see, we got Soul Flay 14, Mental Clarity 43, Companions Fury 61. Uh, just plus ones. Lots of plus ones right now. Plus ones. Weapon Mastery of the Night. Touch. touch vision. Uh, visage of Decay. Ah, there we go. Haste and Gouging Blades. And Twin Life Taps. So, let's see what those are. Haste and Gouging Blade. Reduces the user's time on your Gouging Blade. All right. Let's see here. What else? Planar power. Everything else is just really improved. So we didn't really get anything new. We're up 18,000 AAs. Uh, so that is fantastic. Uh, yeah, we, and I just learned a skill or an ability. I don't know what I clicked on. Uh, there's Scarlet Blade. I'm guessing Gouging Blade is like the next version that I, I get at this level. I just haven't bought it yet. Uh, what was the uh, last thing? Oh, uh, the Kamatic Fang or whatever. I have no idea where I'm going to put this, but uh, we'll think about that. All right. Uh, we got five bags of gold. We can get out of here now. Just kind of like run. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're all marked on the ground, too. I just realized that. Let's go like right here. All right, now who was Denon? Um, it says acquire magical components from Denon. Oh yeah, he was over. He's over there. All right, so he's out this door. 
he was down this hall. Nope. <laughs> nope, not this hall. Go, come on. So we'll have to go buy spells. Let's see, 101 spells are bought in the Darkened Sea expansion. Uh, so we'll have to do that at some point. I'm not, oh my god, why did I not do that? All right, which way? He's on the top, not the bottom. That's why. There we go. And I'm surprised, like, like early on in the expansion, I got a ton of extra planar uh, silks. I haven't gotten any from these higher level zones at all, which is kind of crazy, right? Like you'd think you'd get more the higher level you go, but uh, not, not today. All right, so this is where we, what? Sons of guns. I could have swore I was in Viz. Too bad not too bad at all i mean what are we hitting for now like 29k crits 69k crits oh that was a finishing blow i mean 29 33 33 like, this is insane absolutely insane the amount of damage we do but I am told a warrior actually does more uh, damage. <laughs> so we're going to see. I'm leveling up a warrior on another account. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. I am hoping to put together a 12-man box team of, uh, of 125 boxes. There we go. We got the components to do old raids. Uh, I think I can do a lot of stuff with six with, you know, the guys in this group here. Uh, but on some content, I feel like I'm going to need a little bit more, especially a warrior. Uh, you know that I can put into like super defensive mode and not have to worry about uh, stuff, right? All right, let's hail him. He's got all this stuff. All right, 210 Platinum, uh, 0.28 experience, 27 moats, and uh, 10 faction. There we go. Let's hail him again, tell him plan again, and then uh, tower. And then he says, that is it. Take the device, bring it in close to proximity to that in inaccessible tower. My work will take it from there, and then you'll need to deal with the forces more I'll sends out at you. All right. Get the device from him and bring it to the tower. So, did he give it me a device? All right, give me the device then. There you go. Thanks. Bring it near the tower. So, which tower do we need to bring this to? All right, it's back to where we were. So close shadows and up we go. We already killed all the mobs, so conveniently that is good. Uh, so I'm guessing it's going to do something here. There we go. <laughs> Pull you through the wall there, Matty. I'm dotted. Get one more dot on there, please. That macro just doesn't work the way I'd like. All right. Do we just step onto this? There we go. All right. We are in the void. <laughs> All right, we get ahead of a servant here. All 
I mean, at 101, we're still getting point, point 0.1 per kill, which is kind of crazy, right? I mean, we're only 24 levels away from max level, and this is, this is pretty crazy. Now, I do not intend to stop leveling throughout any of this because... I do realize that, you know, we're going to want max AA uh, sooner than later, right? Like, it took me two weeks on my Paladin of non-stop grinding to get him max AA with an experience bonus. So, I think it's going to take me a while to get it on here because the Shadow Knight does have more AA. But a lot of the later expansions give AAs. Like, Empire's Kunark is all AAs, no ex experience. Uh, so I'm expecting to get a lot of AAs. Morel's Commander. All right. He's immune to Snare. Can cast on him for some reason. Cannot cast disease on him. All right. I can't open the door either. All right. That is the board we came from. I mean. Is there more to this than I'm, uh, okay, it says block door, so. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit of a loss. There's, like, not enough mobs here to, like, complete this. Is there? That's where we were. It's all the way around. Okay. Am I... What am I supposed to do with that? Alright, let's go see if these other guys like Calfort, because then we can just knock this out. Yeah, we were supposed to kill the... Tower Servant. Let's kill him. Uh, we we're supposed to kill the commander. He is, uh, I guess, after these nine mobs. But we might have to wait for him to respawn now. All right, these these ones here count. Perfect. So what do we got we got a personal. What are these? Tower Wardens? Yeah, that's what we need. Two of these. It's kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird, really. Yeah, alright. So we kill all these nine mobs, and then we go back over there. And <laughs> do it again. <laughs> alright, that's just so weird to me, but you know, it is what it is. Perfect, we got another tower servant. We needed one more of those. Now the tower guardians, I think those are those bigger guys. So hopefully we can find two of those, three of those. Uh, let's go ahead and snare this guy. We get a lot of damage from Flurry. I feel like Flurry is like going off a lot. I'll definitely do some, uh, <laughs> the rare is up again. All right, I gotta, I gotta kill the rare. Like, it's just like part of the rules, you know, like the rules of the game. If rare, kill rare. All right. It's just kind of funny that he's like permanently up. <laughs> there might be some guardians up on the top floor here. And we got another spell ward saber. We can't loot it, so that sucks. Or 
us. We're just going to leave that on the corpse there. Some Someone will run by and see it and uh, actually want it. There's a guardian right there. These are master guardian. There's a tower guardian right there. Perfect. Go. Let's get him snared. You know, when you're out soloing, you know, on your class, right? Even on content that is lower level, it is really, you know, useful, you know, skill to uh, kind of like master your, <laughs> your rotation, right? I don't, I'm not running with a mercenary or anything right now, all right? Uh, so it's, it's really, you know, on me to do all the work. And I kind of like that. Like that's, you know... I don't think I want to make another Shadow Knight ever, but if I if I were ever to like do it again, I think that'd be kind of fun to have a you know no mercenary challenge or something like that, because that would definitely change how you uh, play. But I think it would get a little bit tedious at, towards you know certain levels on certain classes. Right, I think that counted so. Especially like I'm doing the, the the rogue playthrough right now, and without a mercenary, that character would be so boring. <laughs> At least with the mercenary, I can get backstabs in, right? So that's kind of fun. There we go, and now we need to go kill the commander. All right, perfect. So he is, I believe, it was this one. There we go. So we'll just wander across here. Is he already up? I don't see him up there. So we'll just uh, run around here. It's gonna take a second. So I'll just, I'll just feign death by where he is, and when he pops, we'll kill him instead of waiting uh, aimlessly. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna wait for him, and then when he spawns, we'll kill him. All right, so he has finally respawned. It took a while, but right there I got an eighty-three thousand crit. I mean, that is insane. Jeez, this guy just melted with a three three hundred forty-four thousand crit. Oh, so sweet. All right, now we need to go return to our friend and talk to him. Let's just uh, run down here. I don't know if you can fall into the void here or not. I don't want to risk it. Sometimes you die. Sometimes it teleports you back to like a safe spot. Like these zones are so inconsistent when it comes to things. It's kind of funny. Uh, but uh, we can just run past like all this stuff. Invis, uh, there's the guardians that we're supposed to kill. Like I think all the mobs over here kind of count. And this guy's like, whatever, I see Invis and I'm going to nuke you, right? Like, and he's a rare creature. Oh, that's fun. Uh, okay. He do to me uh call the avalanche this is my pet's gonna kill him like he's, who's gonna win my pet or this level 94 named i'm like this is <laughs> terrible jeez all right i'm just gonna delete him there we go <laughs> War warden stud all right we got a nice earring jeez There is a uh, sage. Let's hail him. As expected, you've done it. My knowledge and your power are a potent combination, my friend. Can't you feel it? Morel is quite distracted thanks to my device and your killing of a powerful creature he created. I'm sure we'll be able to access the tower now. But I must gather the others and escape here now. That we can. If you intend to face Morel, I wish you the best of luck. All right. 0.28% experience, 210 platinum, 27 dream modes, and 10 faction. All right. So that is that quest line. That's three quests there. Um, I don't even remember the names of them. Morel Sanctuary, Dreamland Assault, and A Key to the Tower all done so uh, there we go there are two more partisan quests in this zone we're gonna do those in the next two videos 
and then there are two group missions uh, that we'll be doing. So thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day. Thank you.